This is Neil Schneider for MTBS at CES 2017. To my immediate right is Andy Davis. He is the Director of Marketing for DisplayLink. Welcome to the program, Andy. Great to see you. So Andy, what have we got on display here? So what we've got here is a very, very new concept from DisplayLink. We're actually showing wireless VR. We believe that if you want to do VR and you want to be in an immersive environment, having a cable and having a tether, you just can, right? You just got to get away from that, you've got to cut the cords, and you've really got to go wireless. So what we've got here is we've developed a solution, this is a real concept, that solution goes onto the back of your head, and onto the back of the Vive here, we're using an HTC Vive, and it allows you to communicate 60 gigahertz wirelessly back to the PC. We've got DisplayLink software then running across that connection link, so you're really in a very immersive environment to be able to play games or business in future or whatever you need to do in virtual reality. Yeah, DisplayLink actually has been in this, well not this particular business, but you've done other things as well. So for those unfamiliar, can you tell us what DisplayLink does as a company? Absolutely. For the last 15 years or so, we've actually predominantly been based around building graphic solutions going into our largest markets, probably docking stations. So we build a chipset and software solution. That would be deployed into things like USB docking stations. We actually have both wired and wireless solutions, but predominantly the largest market to date has been over USB. Now, typically, if you looked at companies like Dell, Lenovo, Hewlett Packard, Targus, you know, you'll see our solutions deployed in their docking stations today. So Fortune 500 companies have been using us forever. We've taken that technology, that same technology, and we're leveraging it here into VR. Okay, so a couple questions for you. Sure. First, you mentioned 60 gigahertz. Is that the frequency range? It is, it is. And is it safe? Absolutely, absolutely. We're not going to be microwaved, are no, we? No, no, not at all, not at all. We've been using this all week. <laughs> but no, very seriously, no, absolutely no problem at all. Okay. So the next question I have is, speaking of the microwave, let's say you got the microwave on. I mean, we live in a wireless world, all kinds of wireless devices. Any interference, any concerns there? Well, here we are at CES, right? This is one of the worst environments in the world to be able to try and run wirelessly. And as you can see, absolutely no problems at all. So connectivity-wise, you know, 60 gigahertz, it's, it's kind of an in-room environment, but you can see here we've got, you know, a reasonably large environment to run around in. Um, the great thing is you don't have to worry at all about the tether. You know, you can be in this environment, you can play the game, you can move around. For the first time, you can actually dodge bullets. You can get into that matrix environment where you're moving out of the way and just have a lot of fun. Now, one of the big challenges with, with virtual reality is latency. We want to get as rid of as much of it as possible. Does this introduce any latency to the, to the system? So, you know, we've had people through the week and we're really challenging feedback here because we want to know what people think. The most common feedback we've had all week is people don't see the difference between wired and wireless. And that to us is that's where it wants to be. We're all about ultra low latency and that's what we've been doing for years. Here it really is ultra low latency and you know as you can see the guy behind us there, he's having a great environment, he's probably completely forgotten that this is actually wirelessly connected other than the fact that he's not feeling that tether behind him anymore. Okay, good stuff. Now, what about battery life? I know this is an early concept. I guess this is a prototype. Is it a prototype? This is absolutely a very early prototype, yeah. So what do you do using the power of this? So at the moment, we've just got an external power solution sits on the belt. We found that not many people actually want to put a battery on their heads right now, but um, we put this one on the belt. This will give you about two to three hours life today. And how long does it take to charge? Oh, we're charging these up really, really fast. I think we had them up and charged in probably about 30 minutes. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So are you planning to actually release this as a product? What's the vision for this? So from a business perspective, we're looking at different models right now. I mean, our history has actually been a chipset and software company. We provide solutions to be integrated by partners. So, you know, one route, we could work with people like HTC and Oculus and these different guys. We could work with different partners to actually integrate that. That's that traditional model. It's probably what we're going to look in the first instance, but we're getting huge amounts of different feedback here at the show. We're going to take that away and look. Okay. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, this looks like a lot of fun, or it's adding a lot of fun. You've got to get in there and try this. I it's will. Blow your mind. I will. Thank you again for joining us. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2017. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching. How was it? That was really good. Um, not having the cord to tether you is amazing. Most of the time when I'm playing these kind of experiences, I'm always aware of where the cable's going and trying not to trip and stuff, but having the wireless makes it a completely different experience. You totally forget everything about the real environment, so it's a lot better.